Alright guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video, and today it is time to go ahead and rainbow our boy the Dokkan Fest exclusive Trunks, uh, who is very, very good. Uh, I'm actually really excited, you know, to kind of test this guy out in stuff like Super Battle Road and whatnot, uh, because I think both him and the Zamasu, of course, are, you know, I don't know, top tier units, super top tier units, whatever it is you want to say. Uh, this Trunks is very interesting. Now, the other thing too, uh, so we're going to look at him on the... Uh, hybrid Saiyan team today, but it's going to be very interesting to see if the LR family Kamehameha unit is a hybrid Saiyan leader, because if that's the case, you know, they've gotten some interesting buffs lately, and this Trunks is going to fit right in on that team. So let's go ahead and see what this Trunks' rainbow potential is like on a few of these teams. All right, guys, so we're here in an event uh, on Trunks' new future team. Now, you know, I've really been pondering it, and this future team is insane because. He's got the 120% that he gives to super class allies as well. So we could do this, where we just use like the LR Super Saiyan Force as a rotation. Now, this is actually going to work out well in that the rotation also going to get four trunks. Uh, we're going to get right away because uh, the father son uh, Gallop Gun Rage trunks is in that last slot. So let's see what our boy Trunks is able to get to. So he starts out 1.82 million. That's very good. That, of course, is with my. Uh, you know, obviously Mai with her, you know, 40% support uh, to Time Traveler category allies. Very, very strong right there. Uh, now, of course, if you're using Mai, uh, she's not going to be able to give those buffs to, you know, like if you're going to use like the, the LR Super Saiyan 4 or something like that. But it does lead to an interesting thing because like, here's the thing. So we're using Mai, right? I'm using Mai more so just because she's brand new, right? Like, I, you know, I like to use new units, but... Using something like Bra probably would be better off than Mai, because uh, Bra will give 40% attack. Does, does Bra give defense as well? I, I might have to double check that real quick, but I know Bra gives 40% attack, so she'll be able to match what Mai is able to, except Bra does not have a restriction. So again, I, you know, I was telling people Bra is one of the best units in the game, and she indeed is. <laughs> There's no doubt about that. Uh, so here we go. Uh, the Super Saiyan Force does not matter uh whatsoever that they are only at a 120 percent uh leader skill because they're still the lr super saiyan force they are the four-year anniversary units which really i think only lr khalifa and kale uh, are better than lr super saiyan force like they're still ridiculous and yeah okay so bra gives three key and 40 percent attack to all allies okay so th that's good that's good but bra is going to be a very strong option you could run on this team uh, you know, because you could use all super class allies, right, on the team. Like, it doesn't matter. They, they're they all available to be used. So, that's going to be very, very good. Uh, also, as, as I've been toying around with this team a little bit, I have been a little bit impressed with LR Trunks and Mai. Like, I don't... Like, I was calling them the worst LR before. I, I don't know. They, they might not be the worst LR. It might be time to really rethink things. Because, you know, like, I, I think LR Bardock is probably not as bad as people quite think he is. You know, what if, what if we threw this out there? What if LR Broly is actually the worst summonable LR, huh? What about that? Because guess what? He can't do a double AoE anymore. <laughs> so that hurts him quite a bit. Well, you know, at least until the, the glitch is finished up. The um, uh, You guys know what I'm talking about, the uh, additional attack glitch. So this is the rotation that I'm pretty much looking for right here. Uh, we have Rage Trunks, we got Trunks, and then we also have our girl Mai there. So, uh, let's go ahead and see what our boy Trunks can get to right here. Now, remember that Trunks does build up his attack and defense every turn. And, like, it, it, you're pretty much going to infinitely stack with Trunks because of the fact that he can, you know, sort of infinitely raise his attack and defense on Super Attack. No way. Stop it. Do not. Oh, wow. That's unfortunate. Yeah, because we're... <laughs> I didn't, I didn't expect that to happen. <laughs> Hold on. Let, let me hop right back in and let me get that rotation again. Because I, I do want to show what Trunks is able to do there. But yeah, like I was saying, you know, he does drastically, like, you know, uh, increase his attack and defense every turn. So he's going to be really good. Uh, and then, oh yeah, by the way, double active skill right here. Uh, pretty good rotation for this future category team. Very good team. All right, guys, we're back. Same rotation. Now, here's the thing with this Trunks, right? Now, I I'm not necessarily going to say he's better uh, in his second form, his Super Saiyan form, but do understand that his second form is very, very strong. 
already like a ridiculously top tier Dokkan Fest unit because he's just going to be getting stronger and stronger every single attack, every single turn. It's easy to super attack. He's got good links. He's got good defense, good attack, everything. But when you go to his final form, the Spirit Bomb Sword version, at that point, 30% attack per orb is crazy. But don't forget the fact that he is super effective against all types. So he becomes Gogeta, which is crazy, right? But his attack is based a little bit on orbs. So, like, here's a perfect example. Right here, I would not probably transform with Trunks. Because, like, we're looking at this field. I mean, sure, I guess we got this. is a pretty decent number. Actually, that's actually... Wait, wait, wait. Psych. <laughs> I looked. I was like, wait a minute. That's decent enough that we actually are going to transform. So... We're going to uh, step it up to his Spirit Bomb Sword version right here. Uh, again, you know, 30% per, per orb is really, really good. But what puts this guy, like, ahead of the curve is the effective against all types. Uh, that is just, like, insanity. Oh, okay, we got the... Tr okay, okay, that worked out really well. Uh, then, of course, he can turn one type of orb into tech. And it only happens the first time he shows up. Now, it, it could be any type of orb, right? So, I've had it before where... You know, he's turned, like, a type of orb to tech that wasn't even on the field, so his ability did nothing. So, that's an important thing to consider. What is he sitting at? Okay, yeah, so 3.8 million. Here's the thing. That's 3.8 million, but, like, he's also super effective against all types right there. So, he is going to absolutely cut everything to shreds once he does get to that form. And, again, it, it, I mean, it's really not that far away. You're going to see that version of Trunks about as often as you're going to see Blue Gogeta, I would say. So, you know, it, it's up to you. I think the fact that you do have the choice is actually really, really nice. So, you know, we could just say, whatever. You know, I don't feel like trying to go for the nuke. So, we're just going to go ahead and leave him right here. Or we could say, you know what? Whatever. Let's just go for the nuke. Let's go super effective against all types. It certainly is going to be very helpful. Like, you know, especially, let's say we're going up against a boss that's int, right? So, it's like, all right. Well, absolutely now we're going to go ahead and bust out, you know, the Spirit Bomb Sword version of him. So, he'll be effective against that int type. Like, uh, the, the fact that the active skill is something you can choose when to use it. It, it just makes, like, the Trunks and Zamasu just so much more valuable because you it's giving you more options, which is a really good thing. Like, you know, with Zamasu, right? Like, he loses a little bit of defense, but then he gets ridiculous, insane power, right? So, I don't know, maybe if you're getting your ass kicked in, like, Super Battle Road or something like that, and you're like, eh, I, I would rather not just go for the all or nothing right here. You could just stay at his second form for Zamasu. Like, that type of thing is very good. I wasn't actually expecting them to finish... Vegeta off right there, but they did. Uh, this team is very strong. <laughs> like, you know, these two Golden Week Dokkan Fest banners, uh, they really came in hot with the leader skills, that's for sure. So we got a little bit of a look at the future team uh, and Trunks himself. I also do want to take a look at him on the Time Traveler team as well as the Vegeta's family team. Uh, Vegeta family team, of course, is going to be insane, right? You know, we could do the pairing with uh, the Vegeta uh, like the transforming Vegeta to turn the whole field into a nuke. That's always fun. I might actually go for that because you, you look at what this Trunks' links are, you know, like Super Saiyan and Fierce Battle are essentially his only attack links anyway. So, you know, transforming Vegeta is going to give this Trunks everything he needs. Then we could also have like Bra on the rotation as well. And then boom, we're good to go, right? So uh, let me just go ahead and move on to the next team. I guess we'll probably look at Trunks on the Time Traveler team also. You know, guys, as I'm going through, one of the things that I'm, like, really thinking about is, like, like, this Trunks and Zamasu have been added to teams that, like, like, see, like, I'm not using Zamasu on these while we're going through. I, I still got a rainbow him as well, but, like, you know, Zamasu fits on these teams as well. Like, uh, these teams, Future, Time Traveler, Transformation Boost, like, just got two ridiculously OP top tier units added to them, so, like, I'm, like, just looking through the roster of available units you can rock here, and it's just, like, it's so crazy at this point. Like, all the power uh, that is in all these teams now, like, I like I can't help but say, like, they gotta do something about that difficulty, man. We got way too many good units now. There's, like, you know, because they're, they're filling in. In 2019, Dokkan has filled in so many gaps, so many holes, like just new amazing units like now we have a dokkan fest kid goku okay so 2.3 million right there by the way very very good but of course that is with you know two support type units but here's the thing easy a rage trunks is so good like 
you know, you could rock him a as a rotation unit, as a floater, it doesn't really matter. Uh, like, you know, if, if I want to use his trunks on rotation, rocking him with that, you know, Father Son Gallic Gun, like, easy A trunks, like, is the perfect one to do it with. And the other thing, too, like, you know, thinking about, like, the Time Traveler team in particular, uh, this is where Tech Vegito Blue can really shine. Because, you know, like, people, like, ridiculously still just, like, suck Vegito Blue off all day long. Always so good. It's like, yeah, he's good. He's got potential. But you got to set up a lot to make it work. Well, here on the Time Traveler team, that's very easy to do because of Super Saiyan 3 Bardock. So we can put Vegito Blue in the first spot. We have Super Saiyan 3 Bardock in the second spot, which is serving as a linking, uh, like a linking buddy with, you know, probably the Goku Blacks who are going to be floating and stuff like that. And bam, you're good to go. Like at that point, Tech Vegito Blue can really spread his wings on this team. I'm not the biggest fan of him on something like the Future Team, but I guess now that I think about it, you know, the Future Team is so much different now nowadays, right? Like, we can actually go ahead and just put any other Super Type unit on the team we want. We could, we could put Super Saiyan 3 Bardock on the Future Team to let him work with Tech Vegito Blue. So, you know, previously, Tech Vegito Blue did not work on the Future Team whatsoever because there were no other uh, Over and a Flash units there. But now, there is. Like, whoever you want. <laughs> <laughs> you could use SCR Gogeta, it doesn't matter. Any of those guys will work. So, you know, I, here's the thing. I, I've, I've seen a lot of global players uh, these days are saying, like, you know, like, forget the 4 anniversary. I'm going to save for, you know, the Trunks and Tomasu. And it's like, I don't know that I, I don't really recommend that. Like, I, I feel like the 4 anniversary banners are, like, they're so good that I, like, there's no point in skipping those. Like, no, those are, like, must summon type banners. Absolutely. But, like, you know, at that point, the coins the coins will be on global for sure. Yeah, 2.1 million right there. So, that's Trunks building up his attack and his attack, right? To where he just... Okay, so before we had Mai and he was at 2.3 million. Now, there was Trunks at 2.1 because he raises attack furthermore every super attack. And then, remember, for eight turns, he gets 10% attack and defense at the start of turn while in that form, which is... I don't know why they they went so high, right? Like, for eight turns, he could do that. It's so pointless, but, you know, it does lead to a lot of power. Now, this is going to be interesting, right? Because Tech Vegito Blue hasn't really had that many attacks in, but this is two 40% support units he's getting. So, Tech Vegito Blue is about to while out right here. Yeah, <laughs> okay. So, even though I, did, like, two seconds ago was like, yeah, Vegito Blue can be overrated, at the same time, you know, you set him up correctly, and this is what happened. <laughs> <laughs> so that was like a 3 million attack set basically and he had two guaranteed attacks coming after that plus very very likely a fourth attack as well so like see like i can't even properly showcase these teams anymore i can't like because like i've got all these units rainbowed and like if i build like a, a correct team it doesn't matter what like we're just blowing through these events in two seconds like that's a, that's the other kind of like a little bit of a negative about the trunks is like you know they got him to where he can build up but like there's you can't properly build up this trunks in a dokkan event there's no dokkan event that allows you to have even multiple turns really like per phase with these teams time traveler future no way not a chance even the vegeta family team look how ridiculous that team has become hybrid saiyans i think is going to be a lot better especially after that lr gohan and goten show up so I mean, these teams, there's just so many good units now. Now, I kind of want to, I want to go look at the Vegeta's family team, and there's two turns specifically I want to see. So, we're going to head over to that, to, uh, head over there to that Vegeta's family team, uh, and I'm going to do two different rotations, and we'll sort of see how that, you know, works. You know, one thing about Trunks being a, like being able to pick when exactly to do his active skill, uh, it certainly does make a rotation like this a lot easier to accomplish, right? So, here's the turn I wanted to see. Uh, we have Bra on rotation. We're on the Vegeta's family team. Uh, and then we got Transforming Vegeta and then Spirit Bomb Sword Trunks together, right? Because this is going to make us that the whole field is orbs for uh, Spirit Bomb Sword Trunks. So, he's going to do ridiculous damage. Uh, Transforming Vegeta's got Super Saiyan and Fierce Battle, which are basically Trunks' is only two attack links. Uh, and then we do have Bra on rotation as well. Bra with a 40% attack buff. Uh, I just want to see. I want to compare what this rotation looks like with Bra and then also with LRB Pan. I, I just kind of want to see what both numbers will reach for myself. Now, one other thing I do have to mention is, obviously, as we're going through, uh, Trunks is building up his attack every single turn, right? Like, 
I had Trunks super attack every single turn it get it like it took to get to this point. So his attack is yeah already at two hundred and seventy thousand, which is pretty good. Uh, look at look at Bra Brock's attack is very high. Uh, that's because she massively raises her attack. So let's go ahead and do this right here. Uh, that's pretty good for Trunks. So obviously a full field right there is going to give him a massive attack buff. Every orb is thirty percent. Uh, Bra is giving him forty percent, and then of course you know transforming Vegeta is giving him the links. So. Let's see what our boy Trunks is able to get up to with this rotation. And he gets up to, oh, a cool 8 million. Not bad. 8 million and super effective against all types. How fair. And the nice 15 million damage crit right there. Very, very good. So, as we can see, our boy Trunks Su can get up to quite the interesting number. Uh, I'm going to go ahead. I want to get uh, the same rotation going. I'm going to make sure that I have just as many super attacks for Trunks as I did before. Uh, we're going to do the same rotation with LRB Pan, and I'm going to make sure I've got the same amount of supers again as before. All right, guys. So here we are on the rotation we're looking for. So I did manage to have Trunks get the same amount of super attacks because he, uh, he didn't additional on either of the fights. So that was easy to kind of replicate. Uh, and I just had him on the first rotation from the very beginning. <clears throat> Same amount of super attacks, and then we've led to this point. So, we we just got about 8 million uh, with Bra. <clears throat> I'm going to be very curious to see uh, what number that is uh, with LRB Pan and her active skill, which, you know, we all know is insanely, dumbly, stupidly OP. So, let's see what our girl LRB Pan can do to, you know, the Spirit Bomb Sword Rage Trunks right here. Uh... Rainbowed on the Vegeta family team, which, you know, Vegeta family team, uh, you know, I, I really, I might go through, like, top five or top ten teams in the game at this point, because, like, now we've gotten some real, like, stunning teams lately, so, all right, let's see what Trunks is able to get up to, and he hits, oh, 10 mil, <laughs> all right, <laughs> pretty good, <laughs> 10 million, and that's with super effective against all types, dude. Like, Trunks is very good. Like, like that's the thing. Like, like I'm thinking, like, yeah, you know, you, you could just run that Super Saiyan version of his after he transforms. You don't really need to use the active skill. But then, like, when you think about the fact that my boy busts out that super effective against all types at that point. Woo! Trunks! Chill! Uh, I really like him. I think they did a very good job. Uh, very, very strong Trunks card, you know, right up there with, you know, this is what Trunks needed. Like, this is definitely the best non-LR Trunks in the game. Uh, very, very strong overall. So, let me know what you guys think of being able to bust out a 10 million attack stat and have super effective against all types with no items. I did think that was pretty impressive. <laughs> uh, and I will catch y'all in the next one.